ABC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back with well, another nice one out there today. A little bit on the hot side, then scattered showers and a few thunderstorms this afternoon. And as we take a look across the lower 48, some trouble spots, West Texas, maybe some big hail, gusty winds with big storms there and a frontal boundary off to the northeast, uh, producing the threat of severe weather from Ohio into Pennsylvania and portions of New York as well. Now, locally for us, it's been a typical day where we see that scattered splash and dash showers and a few thunderstorms out there. Heavy Heaviest of which right now is out across the Chafalaya Basin. You can see that with all the red showing up. And uh, we'll get to uh, some of the other features that we're watching right now. A few heavier showers up into Allen Parish. Uh, activity kind of diminishing across Acadia Parish, Lafayette Parish, uh, just to the north of Lafayette as we get into uh, just to the south and west of Sunset and southern uh, St. Landry Parish. The rest of Lafayette doing pretty well overall, but farther to the east, look at this thunderstorm activity out in the basin. If you're heading on I-10. You may want to give it another hour for to wait for these storms to diminish a little bit. Notice we had an outflow boundary from some of the storms in Lafayette kind of meeting up over here out in the basin. That's probably also enhancing the storms and we're seeing a fair bit of cloud to ground lightning affecting anybody that may be trying to fish out across the middle of the basin. Hopefully not. And then we get down into Iberia Parish. Some pretty heavy downpours mainly north and east of Highway 182 as we go out through the Lauraville Highway. Some pretty big downpours here uh, over uh, just to the south of the Koto Homes area as well. And then as we get out into the basin over toward the Lake Fossey Point and then uh, we go farther to the south isolated cell in Vermilion Bay as well. Probably looks pretty pretty from uh, the Sippermore Point uh, vantage point where Dave was uh, reporting today earlier today to uh, mark the beginning of the hurricane season, the Atlantic hurricane season. Now we have been watching a di area disturbed weather down by the Yucatan. Uh, weak low pressures developed just north and east of, uh, we'll say Belize, or right just to the south of Cancun. And we do think this is going to develop with time. The National Hurricane Center giving it a 70% chance of developing next two days to a tropical storm. Overall, an 80% chance of developing and more than likely this could become a tropical depression might even be a low end tropical storm as it threatens western Cuba and eventually South Florida. If so, the name would be Alex change names once we get into new basins. So this is the European model showing the threat of heavy rainfall heading for South Florida four to eight inches of rain possible here late Friday into most of Saturday and by Saturday evening that system moves out to sea and notice the Euro really wants to deepen this system close to uh, a pretty strong not only tropical storm but hurricane but uh, that looks relatively dubious and here's the uh, GFS model we'll get an updated run on this model as well but South Florida again going into Saturday so we'll have to keep an eye on that for our friends over there no threat to us so a lingering shower or storm evening hours and then tomorrow we do it all over again mostly sunny skies then scattered showers and thunderstorms afternoon early evening hours could see a couple of stronger storms for tomorrow and then we reset and do it all over again for your Friday. So overnight tonight, a lingering shower or a thunder shower through the early evening hours. Then the clouds will begin to thin out as we get past midnight tonight. 72 year low with southwesterly winds overall. Then tomorrow we start off mostly sunny. We go to partly cloudy and then scattered showers and thunderstorms kicking in, especially later in the afternoon. As you see your timeline there, skies begin to darken five, six, uh, seven o'clock tomorrow evening. So don't be surprised if we have activity later in the day into the evening hours. Otherwise, another hot one. 91 the high. We do it again on Friday. Might not hit 90 on Friday, but we're going to be very close to that. And then as we go further down the road, typical summer forecast, a little drier Saturday, a little wetter Sunday. Lots of 90s in the forecast with the chance of an afternoon shower or storm. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to be right back right after this.